Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Mr. Guerra and today we will be learning how to add and subtract fractions with equal denominators, with common denominators. Now, if you don't know what a denominator is, it is so simple if you remember this one thing. So let's say we have a fraction. The denominator is going to be the number downstairs. That's an easy way to remember it. Denominator, downstairs. If this was a two-story house, the number downstairs is the denominator. The number upstairs is the numerator. So today we will be adding fractions that have common denominators that have the same number downstairs. So let's go ahead and add one third plus one third. Now, super important, we must check if the number downstairs, if the denominator is equal, if they are equal. In this case, they are equal. So when we are adding and subtracting fractions, the denominator, it always stays the same. It does not change. The only thing that changes is the numerator and it is going to change when we add. Super important to look at the symbol, to look at the sign. It tells you what to do. For example, let's say you're at a stoplight. If it's green, that means go. If it's yellow, that means slow down. If it's red, that means stop. So you have to pay attention to the sign. It's gonna tell you what to do. And in this case, it's telling us to add. So one plus one is two. Now let's look at it with a picture. So let's say we go to Peter Piper, to Domino's Pizza, to Little Caesars, and we have a pizza, and that pizza is divided into three equal slices. Why did we divide it into three slices? Three equal slices? Because the denominator tells us that we must divide it into three. So it's divided into three equal pieces, and the number on top, the numerator, it tells us how many we have. So out of this pizza that's cut into three slices, we have one. We have another pizza. It's cut into how many equal slices? Three, right? Because the denominator, the number downstairs, tells us so. And how many slices do we have? How many slices do we have? Well, let's look at the numerator. And it's going to tell us one. So we shade in one. So if we were to combine these pizzas, which is another way of saying add, we would have a pizza that's cut into three slices. And we have two. One plus one is two. So one third plus one third equals two thirds. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and add one fourth plus two fourths. Okay, first thing we do, we look at the denominator, the number what, upstairs or downstairs? Exactly, the number downstairs. Are they equal? Are they the same? Is four equal to four? Yes, yes it is. That way, then that means that we can add we don't have to do anything else. All we have to do is add a cross. And remember, when we're adding or subtracting fractions, the denominator, it never changes. So we already know that the bottom number, the number downstairs is going to be four. Now, all that is left to do is add the numerator, the number on top. And we look at the sign, we're adding so one plus two equals three. Therefore, our answer is three over four or three fourths. Now let's look at it with a picture. We have a pizza and it's divided 
into four equal parts. Why do we divide it into four parts? Because we look at the denominator and the denominator tells us so. It tells that there's four parts in the pizza. And how many do we have? Exactly, we have one because that's what the numerator tells us. We have one slice of pizza and we have another whole pizza divided into four slices, into four parts. Why? Because it tells us in the denominator and we have two. One, two. One plus two is three. So the answer would be three over four, three fourths. All right, guys, if you're enjoying the video and you're learning, go ahead and like and subscribe and comment on what else you'd like to see. All right, now let's get back to it. Now, instead of adding, we are going to subtract fractions with equal denominators. So let's say I have the fraction three over four minus two over four. First thing we do, look at the denominator and we established that the denominator is the number downstairs. Downstairs. Okay, let's look at the denominator. We have four here and we have a four here. Are they equal? Correct, they are equal. So we can automatically put the denominator there. Now, we are subtracting. We look at the sign, we are subtracting. Therefore, three minus two is one. Now let's look at it with a picture. If I have a pizza, that's cut into how many parts? Let's see if you remember. Does the numerator tell us how many parts it's cut into? Or does the denominator tell us? Correct, the denominator tells us how many parts the pizza is cut. So we have four parts and the top number tells us how many slices we have. So we have one, two, three, right? So let's say you have a pizza, you have three slices out of a possible four, a friend comes over and he eats two. How many slices are you gonna have left? What is the fraction gonna look like? So he eats one, he eats two. So now we have one slice out of four. Simple guys, super, super simple. If the denominators are equal, all you have to do is add or subtract depending on what it tells you to do. Let's do one more subtraction problem and we'll be done. All right, this last one is going to be two thirds minus one third. Okay, you guys already know, denominators, are they equal? Yes, so all we have to do is add or subtract. Now. We look at the sign and it says subtract. So we have to take away, we have to minus. So two minus one equals one. And the denominator, it always stays the same when we add or when we subtract. Okay, now let's do it with a picture. We have a pizza and how many parts are there? What tells us the numerator or the denominator? The denominator, so it's cut into three equal parts. And how many of those parts do we have? We have two. One, two. And let's say your best friend comes over and he's like, you know what? I want a slice. So he eats one slice. We get, we get rid of one slice. I'm putting an X or if it helps, you can erase it. So how many slices do we have left? We have one slice out of three, we have one part out of three parts, which is the same as one third. Guys, this is so simple, it is so easy, but with anything and everything, we must practice. But always remember, you are smart, you are loved, and you can do it. Until next time.